Let's start with Microsoft. What do you think here? Microsoft, I have a hold on. Um, they actually did did get a downgrade recently, which you had a, uh, just noted here. And that was because of their cloud computing doesn't expect it to have as much demand going forward as investors have expected. And the problem really that I have with Microsoft is it is trading at a higher valuation in the market. So while it is cheaper than itself, the problem is when we're in this high interest rate environment, the bar is going to be that much higher for these higher valuation companies. And if that demand towards cloud isn't what people are expecting, it's not going to perform as well. So as a long-term investor, it's something I want to hold, but short term, I I actually would not be buying into this currently. Wow. All right. Let's move on to Etsy then. What about this one, Courtney? Etsy, I have a sell on. Um, Etsy is, a, again, just to reiterate the same point here, a high valuation company. It trades about 36 times next year's earnings, which is much more than the markets. It actually traded at a loss last quarter. And the problem is we're also facing a consumer right now, which is facing higher inflation. And they're having to choose on what they're purchasing right now. So instead of buying goods, which is what Etsy sells, they're going to services. So think of going to a restaurant rather than buying goods right now. And they are pulling back on some of that discretionary spending, which unfortunately Etsy is going to be prone to. So I would not be a buyer of Etsy currently. It's still with a 43 times forward P.E. Wow. All right. Let's uh, shall we move on to the next one? Uh, and that one is uh, Alibaba. Alibaba. You know what I want to do? One of these days I want to do Alibaba, which is Baba. And then I want to do O'Reilly Auto Parts so we can do Baba O'Reilly. <laughs> but be that as it may. Alibaba. What do you think? That's going to be harder to compare. <laughs> um, yes, Alibaba, I do have a buy on here. Um, they've been facing some big headwinds. Number one is the zero COVID policy in China, which we're finally getting some um, light at the end of the tunnel with, which is going to be a great thing for them moving forward. But also the regulatory scrutiny has also been a big problem for them. But just today we saw with Ant Group's um, um, raising money, which just got approved, that is actually starting to bring some light at the end of the tunnel there as well. But also, their valuation is dirt cheap. They turn about nine times next year's earnings, and just um, they're not even close to where the highs were. That price said about $317 a share back in October of 2020. We are nowhere near there. So the fact that it's dirt cheap and a lot of those headwinds are behind them, I think this is a buy. All right.